Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? It is Tuesday evening and I'm here in the studio. I'm taking a look at a race on Saturday, the next stake race coming up uh, between Tuesday and Saturday is only Saturday. Quite a few on Saturday, but over at Fairgrounds, well, it's race number eight on Saturday. It is the Pan Zaretta Stakes for uh, five and a half furlongs for Phillies and Mares, three year olds and up for a hundred thousand. It's a full field of ten, and I'm be baffled and be buffled. I mean, I'm not real confident about this race. It's so evenly matched. Because you got horses coming from the turf and the dirt and they're going five and a half furlongs and the race just seems so evenly matched in the eighth race at Fairgrounds on Saturday. Um, I mean, so I'm going to do my best. Pan Zare Zaretta Stakes, right? Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up. And I mean, I'm not going to bet a lot of money in this race. Maybe I'll do a four-horse box and just have some rooting. Rooting interests, okay. Porteria. I'm going to go ahead and take Porteria, the number four horse Porteria, as our top pick. I mean, the horse has the best speed figures. Uh, lightly raced four year old, two wins from eight starts, two seconds. Uh, trained by Albert Stalls, who I absolutely love. Um, they paid 165000 Brian Hernandez is in the arms. The horse is returning off of a win uh, 27 days ago. Um, has enough speed to be in the middle pack, maybe sitting fourth or fifth, um, and shouldn't get two box in, um, but does have great speed figures three or four back. So I guess he's just as good as, or she's just as good as any, this four year old by dialed in on the back end by Giant Causeway. Like the fact that it's Albert Stalls and, and Brian Hernandez. So I'll just take a flyer and, and um, my top pick would be Portrea. Ovar, Ovar, the number five horse right outside of Protrea. Ovar, I think I'm saying the name right. Well, here's a nice, nice horse. And the reason that I landed on this horse, Ovar, the number five horse, the horse has 13 starts and seven of them are wins. I mean, how bad can that be? Not bad at all. Three seconds and two thirds. So the horse literally has 12 in the money from 13 starts. So this horse is a win machine in a lot of ways by Shackerford, one of my favorite train, uh, one of my favorite uh, horses and training and breeding on the back end by Kittens Joy. Now it's Chris Block clicking at 25%, I believe that's correct. And he has Love Barry in the arm. So, I mean, together they're 26, 27%. So I guess Ovar or Ovair or Ovi, however you say the number five horse's name, I mean, it's a high win percentage horse. I guess I can't go too bad if I use that one, the number five. So that'll be my second pick and um, in this spot. And I'll go right into uh, the number three horse who is uh, perfect happiness right inside our top pick, uh, Protrea. The number three horse, perfect happiness. And to me, this horse appears to be the speed. I mean... Now, again, this horse looks like a bit of a hanger to me. I mean, 21 starts, 3 wins in 9 seconds. That's what I said. 9 seconds, right? And 2, two, uh, two thirds. Uh, this horse was trained, um, was um, claimed from Brad Cox uh, by Chris Hartman uh, a couple back. Uh, Hartman um, is, is a, a very good trainer at 22%, and he has Merle in the arm. So uh, the horse was on a 160-plus day layoff, came back on November 10th uh, at Churchill, ran second by a half. So this is the second race off the layoff. I always like horses as second and third off the layoff, thinking that they needed their first race. The horse has a beautiful workouts after the November 10th. And I think the horse should run better than he ran the last time, and he did finish second by a half. So the number three horse, uh, to me, will be my third pick in here, okay, as I guess. I mean, I'm just not overly confident in here. And I guess my fourth pick to round it out would be uh, Bernie Flint's horse, a touch of class, right? The touch of class, the number seven horse... Uh, three wins from 13 starts, one second, three thirds by Missing Mass, uh, Bernie Flint. You got the old man, Jimmy Graham, in the yard. So, horse does have beautiful 
speed figures, but they're on the turf, so I'm not sure what to do with that. So I'll use the number seven horse as our fourth pick for sure. But trust me in here, uh, I'll box up the three, four, five, seven as just an action bet, maybe for a buck and an exactus. And see how I do. Um, I'm just not confident about this race. And it's just so evenly matched with a whole lot of variables that I, I, I just don't understand, to be honest with you. Uh, turf horses, dirt horses, sprinters, uh, claiming. I just don't know what to do with this race. So my top pick is going to be Portrayal, the number four horse. Our second pick will be the horse Alvaria, the number, the number five horse. And our third pick will be Perfect happiness so we have the three four and five in this order four five three and then we'll round it out with the seven in this year's um tough tough stake race uh the pan zartira stakes uh eighth race on saturday so for us it's four five three seven in that order i'm just going to box it up i'm not going to key any horses on top here um like that. Now, there is one horse I just want to mention for your edification. Take a look at the eight horse right outside of our fourth pick, Touch of Class. The number eight, Cashable, this horse is a decent horse. Again, a turf horse moving to the dirt. It's Brad Cox. You got Martin Pedroza up, so he may be viable as well. So for us, it's the number, it's the number four, five, three, seven in that order. We're just going to box it up, hopefully to get through this race and get it out the way. No big money. Maybe we'll do a 50 cent uh, exact box and just to have some action for sure. And this year's eighth race at uh, Fairgrounds on Saturday. It is the Panza Tara Stakes. We do like the number four, five, three, and the seven. We're going to box it up. As your speed king is not real confident about this race. Stay classy, y'all. Appreciate you.